Welcome back to Think Thrice Problem Solving. Today we're going to be solving a really fun algebra problem. So let's take a look at it. We have x minus 1 over x square root plus 1 minus 1 over x square root is equal to x. Pause the video if you'd like to try this on your own. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and jump in and get started. So the first thing I notice is that I have these square roots up here in the exponent. It'd be really nice if I could get rid of those. How do we get rid of uh, square roots? Well, one thing we could do is work on uh, multiplying conjugates. So remember, if I multiply a plus b times a minus b, that's going to be equal to a squared minus b squared. Okay, so let's look at multiplying the left and the right side by x minus 1 over x to the 1 half minus 1 minus 1 over x to the 1 half. So if I multiply that whole thing by x minus 1 over x to the 1 half plus 1 minus 1 over x to the 1 half, then that's going to end up giving me x minus 1 over x square root squared plus 1 minus 1 over x. Or sorry, minus 1 over 1. <laughs> the whole point. Okay, so, um, and this is actually going to come out to, after we do some cancellation, get just x minus 1. All right, so I have something that's a little bit nicer on the left, but now my thing on the right is a little bit ugly. So what I have now is from the right side, so if we look now up here, I would have x times x minus 1 over x to the 1 half minus 1 minus 1 over x to the 1 half. And that would be equal to now x minus 1, just pulling that down. So what I notice now is I can rewrite this as x minus 1 over x square root minus 1 minus 1 over x square root is equal to x minus 1 over x by dividing out that x, which is just equal to 1 minus 1 over x. So we're starting to get somewhere here. So at this point, we have to be a little bit clever. So let's look at this term here and call this guy a. And let's look at this term here and call this guy b. So I can see that I have a plus b is equal to x. So a plus b is equal to x. And if you look down here, I can see that this is also a, and this is b. So I also have the equation a minus b is equal to 1 minus 1 over x. So let's add those two equations, and I get 2a is equal to x minus 1 over x plus 1. And if I remember what a was, so I get 2 times x minus 1 over x to the 1 half equals x minus 1 over x plus 1. So I see that I have that a squared on the right side. So we have 2a is equal to a squared plus 1. So let's go ahead and solve this equation. We have a squared minus 2a plus 1 is equal to 0. And that's equal to a minus 1 squared. So we can see that a is equal to 1. And a was x minus 1 over x to the 1 half. So if I square both sides of my equation, I get um, so and a was equal to 1. So I'm going to get 1 is equal to x minus 1 over x. And we have to be a little bit careful. Uh, we'll see in a minute because we just took that, uh, squared those expressions. So if I multiply x through on both sides, I'm going to get x is equal to x squared minus 1, or x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. So x is going to be equal to 1 
plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4 over 2, which gives us 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. And what we're going to notice here is that not both of these solutions will work. So I said we had to be a little bit careful when we took the square root. If we come back up to our original equation, notice that I have a square root plus a square root. Um, so we're going to have a positive number coming out on the right side because we're going to have to be taking square roots of positives. So x has to be greater than 0. So when we come down here, we can see that we're exclusively going to be looking at x equals 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And that guy should look familiar with, to you uh, if it doesn't. Um, that's kind of a special little ratio that we have in mathematics. And that's our solution. If you enjoyed this problem, please like and subscribe. If you have your own problem you'd like me to solve, please submit it, and you may see a future video. As you're working through problems, think once, think twice, and if you really get stuck, think thrice.